Okay guys, we are back with another episode of Minecraft. So last time I automated that, and since last time I just simply uh, got a new mod installed, which is the A2 Stuff mod, which adds this crystal growth chamber and the purple encoded from A1 effectively. Uh, but here we are is the grower, which is the one I, the crystal growth chamber, which is what I was looking for. Let's get that. So it's basically one of these that you can pipe into which is pretty good, and I think it runs a bit faster than that, maybe. We'll have to see, I suppose, won't we? And it also doesn't drain power while it's not growing crystals, which it is always doing. So I don't need that in there anymore, which means I can, of course, then expand that a bit more downwards. Uh, let's get some more dirt to put in the holes. I've made. There we go. So up to the top here, and we go crystal growth chamber. I was under the impression I had this installed the whole time, but I wasn't. I didn't actually have it installed at the time. So we have it now, but we didn't at the beginning. So now I have to add this to the list of mods that are currently installed in the mod pack. Uh, tell you, it's getting quite big now. So crystal growth chamber, cool. We need a molecular assembler as well, which is crafted like so. Uh, we need some logic. Now oh, we've got these. Okay, never mind. Uh, we could probably do it then. Need more flux dust though, which apparently you can make inside this crystal growth chamber as well. Sounds pretty cool. Just make use of the map with the pulverizer. I keep saying macerator, I mean pulverizer for anyone who has not fiddled with uh, IC2. You may not know what I mean. You may think that I am simply trying to squeeze fruits or something like that. I can't remember what, it, what the actual meaning for macerator is. To macerate fruits or something that's like squeezing them and or something. Something, something like that. I, don't, I can't remember. It was a while since I actually had a conversation about that. As you can probably imagine. I can't believe what I was looking for. Molecular assembler. Yes. Right. Uh, what I meant to make with that, but it's fine, I've made it now. I have 11 crafting tables, okay. <laughs> Molecular assembler. That uh, requires a formation core. And a annihilation core. We can probably craft two of them, can't we? Yeah. I didn't want to craft two of them, did I? Because now I need to make another two interfaces. I craft like ten of you. Sure. Thank you. Oh god. Ah, free ender pearl. Nice. <laughs> so, how many channels am I using? Six. So I'm probably yeah. I could hook up a crystal growth chamber over here. With another interface. Uh, so do that, and I'll. Get some smart cable going into it. Because this doesn't use a channel as far as I'm aware. It shouldn't do. Uh, what have you done? Right, you see the item. Things like I need another item filter. <laughs> Things that can't go in there. Uh, hopper. Things that cannot go in the top here. Extensive blacklist of silicon and redstone. Neither of you can go in the top here.
Yeah, that should be fine then. Right. It does produce them pretty quickly, though once I move over to AE2 Alpha, uh, of E2 Alpha, then it'll be even faster, because I'm currently using the stable build because some of the add-ons don't work in the Alpha. Well, one add-on doesn't work in the Alpha, but I reckon the one I've just installed now won't work in the Alpha either. So, interface, so we need a few more of these, I think. A bit more Fluix, of course. Assemblers because I usually like to do five to an interface just to maximize the speed, as it were. Um, that's usually quite good. Obviously, you could do it the other way around, you could have even six to a molecular assembler would work as well. Actually, yeah, I think you could do six to a molecular assembler, maybe. I can't remember, it's been a while since I actually thought about it. Our logic presses. Yeah, it's not a problem. So I'm going to have five of these to one interface. And to start off with, this is my standard value of things I do, I would use. Uh, I'll see one of these interfaces has got to go onto the crystal growth chamber here. That's not an issue, at least. Uh, yeah, that should be fine. That should get your channel and this should bump up to seven of eight channels. There we go. And then we need to. Yeah, we don't have to do anything at the moment, but. Okay, so we can grow crystals in here, is the idea, the purpose behind it. Uh, but over here, we're going to use another eight channels to hook up to this interface. I'm just going to have five molecular assemblers attached to it, like so. This is my first crafting unit of sorts. This is the first place where I'm going to do crafting. It requires sand. Insert as dust. So I'm going to need some sand and insert as dust. Uh, yeah. Surface here, but for the moment we will just continue on and we'll make this pattern quickly. So that requires a, it's a crafting unit, so it's sand and a surface dust that makes two seeds which needs to go into here, like so. So we can make a set of seeds, right? Two of those. So if one of those goes in. It does, oh, that's growing really quickly, actually. That's really quick. That's nice. That's pretty quick. That is very, very quick, actually. I didn't think it'd be that quick. That's definitely faster than the four things. <laughs> Not gonna lie. a pure surface crystal bit. Yeah, they should, they should, they do stack, don't they? I think. We'll find out. So a seed goes to a pure surface quartz crystal, and that goes in here. Like so. Craft one of those. And then to get Fluix, we need charged 
We have to automate the charger as well, so let's just quickly make a little thing for that. So that's going to be here, I Well, yeah, we don't need to fiddle with this much, or do we? Extract that to that signal. Bang. Goes in there. Could literally just put a pattern in saying that Certus goes to charge Certus. Like this. Straight in there, straight in the charger. But we're using all eight channels on this line, which is nice, because otherwise that would be a bit weird having like seven channels. So in here, I need to say that you can pull out. Uh, Using conduits. I want to say that they can only pull out the um, oh, my mind is just playing. I want them to only be able to pull out the pure crystals, so we need to get a item filter again. Not one of these. It's the basic one. I, I'll later get like a slice and spice, and we'll get like a better version of this. Obviously, uh, do you share IDs with everything else you do? Okay, so I can't just put it into. Um, I need to match the metadata. Okay, good. So I'd put this in here, which I can't do, but if I could. It would work. I have to assume that because it's not going to work. Charge plus redstone plus nether goes to fluid. So we should get two of them, I think. If I'm correct. Start. Oh yeah, that's pretty cool. I want to say that we can extract um, flux crystals as well. And that looks like that's all done. So let's have a look at the charged. Yeah, that's good. Um, Sand, I think. So let's just grab some sand. Uh, let's go to Alex's base to take sand because he lives on a desert, doesn't he? Odd to find does slow down the um, chunk loading a tiny bit, but it's worth it considering how much more FPS I get. Alex's base, I must get like, yeah, I get quite a lot of FPS here. But wow, it's, okay, it's the same as at my base, pretty much. Mine might be a little, mine fluctuates a bit more on my base, but due to the amount of tile entities and wires and things. It's mainly just 1.7's fault, really. Not gonna lie, 1.7 has caused the majority of the issues. And I've tried to bypass the majority of those using Cauldron, but obviously some of them don't work with it. Uh, but I reckon we'll get it. We'll get a bit better soon, I guess. When uh, a mod called Fastcraft gets updated a bit more and what begins to work with Cauldron, we should be okay. So we should be able to request 40 of you, I'm thinking. So we head down to the Crystal Growth Chamber, we should see that 40... Okay, they don't stack, do they? That's kind of annoying, so... I know why they don't stack. Hmm, how would I resolve this? It's because they're getting crafted one by one. They're not like instantly being crafted. The I have to wait, but so we kind of need it. They'd need to craft one after the other rather than simultaneously for it to not do what it did. 
Uh, but as you can see, we now have some pure surface quartz crystal, and that's pretty quick production of that as well. So we've automated all of that. Uh, now we can automate the final inscriber piece. So let's just do that. Silicon and redstone. One of those goes to what? I know what it comes to. I know what it goes to, but the computer doesn't. Yet. It goes in there, and then the f last one is this, plus this, plus this. It goes to what? According to the computer, we shall see. Uh, so let's pop Oops, three things in there, and we'll let it go. Calculation processor. Lovely. We can now to craft calculation processors as well. So that's all the inscribery things set up. Yeah, that is some pretty good foundations for Planet Logistics, has to be said. Uh, all automated, of course, using nine channels altogether. But of course, I can put other things in here, uh, such as the recipe for a blank pattern, or even the recipe for quartz glass. These two things can both go in there. Uh, well, at least we've got a lot of thickened glass, so we can do that for a while. <laughs> I was thinking that probably wasn't the best decision to pick that. I've changed my mind now, obviously. <laughs> Um, right, this is going to be an issue, I think, the amount of storage space I have. So we're going to need some more 1K drives. Let's have a look at the 1K drive system. Yeah, I think I can do this. I think I'm happy with how this is going to turn out. So you pop that in, and we should auto-craft the logic processor. So that should be coming through... Probably in this stage by now. Yeah, there it is. Uh, I can't wait for RV2 Alpha. I check it like every day because I really want to get this mod. I want to get the mod pack ready for this. I was hoping to get it done before I decided to do what I'm doing now, but you know, <laughs> there's not much point really in letting that happen. Uh, so that the logic processor should be done. It is. So that is the ME1K storage. And then we need the 1K uh, storage cell, which is crafted like so. One of you comes through there. And that is a 1K storage. So let's just make 10 of those. Which might say it's 1K. 1K. 10. Another call. Oh yeah, it would have been. It would have complained had I not had the resources for it. Oh dear, that's good. That's good stuff. And you see it every so often. It. So these metallic assemblers are cool. Not only do they have the sort of rainbow effect that the controller does, uh, but actually when something's crafting in them, uh, it actually appears inside the assembler itself, as you can see there. Thing is crafting appears sort of floating in there. It's pretty cool, isn't it? So we've got four of those currently. So let's just grab. Well, actually, you can also view what's crafting currently by right-clicking on here, so you see the progress of it and all that stuff. So that's also quite useful. Mm. It's pretty nice actually. Um, so another thing I probably want to do is like show you how to do machines with this system. Because yes, you can put machines into the A system. So I'm thinking I'm gonna use 16 channels and have seven more lots of this going all the way along here. And probably expand this thing to be bigger. And we're gonna have 
then the other 16 channels are going to hook up to machines and we're going to have that all set up and of course I'm still really happy with the storage drive system that I've got here because that is never going to overflow I don't think if it does I can just extend it down or sideways kind of going all the way across the balls and that would be really awesome I'll never fill that with 64k drives but it would be an interesting idea and again it only uses the one channel which is even awesomer so um yeah let's see what have we got 20 minutes left okay so i might make some more of these let's have a look uh core oh, i could teach you how to make the cores couldn't i yeah that's probably quite a good idea so that's processes yeah because i'm gonna need to make quite a lot of these in the future so it's probably worth making all of this Should I teach you how to use the more efficient nether quartz recipe for this as well? I think I will, to be honest. Actually, no, it uses a lot of sand, doesn't it? Well, sure, okay. Actually, nah, I have loads of nether quartz, not a big deal. Ah, rare blank patterns. Good thing I can also craft those. Damn. Uh, good thing I can auto craft those. Damn it. Don't have any dust. Uh, oh. Why do I need dust? Yeah, why do I, why do I need dust for that? Yeah, there we go. All that kind of dust. Oh right, you want to make seeds. Okay, I see. This is why it's essential that I get this done uh, before it gets to be too late. Okay, so we need to make a surface. We need to make a few of these. Get some blank patterns from upstairs. Let's make some blank patterns normally up here. Yeah, the normal way of making blank patterns. Nine of them. Sure, that should be enough to get me done with this, I imagine. Can't be entirely certain, but we'll see. Craft interfaces now, which we're going to need, and molecular assemblers as well. It'll be quite useful to be able to craft. Uh, yeah, that's useful as well. Microsoft and quartz glass here, please. Uh, nether, which needs to macerate a load of you. Uh, pulverize a load of you. It's not a macerator anymore, it's a pulverizer. But different, different machines do virtually the same job there. Yes. It's quite good so far. My range is up a bit higher than before, I think. Yeah, it's 10. Most of my settings have stayed the same. I could put them higher, but I'm not going to. It wouldn't hurt my FPS because I want to find stops it from hurting your FPS. Pretty much. Uh, let's see. Quartz glass. 20. Yeah, that'll do. Um. And the crafting table here. How many of those have I got? Six. That's not too bad, I suppose. Is it? I can make another five larger assemblies of that. Three. Now I'll do, I suppose, to just put it down. I suppose. Uh, molecular. It's making logic processes for me, isn't it? Now, is it crafting it for me then? Ah, oh, it's made them. <laughs> That's quite funny. Uh, so in here, I want to make 
the crafting table pattern. Fine. Wood. Wood goes down to planks. Planks becomes crafting table. These both go in here. Crafting table. Uh, well, I can just make. Okay, so I need to make five times six. I need another thirty of these. I need more nether quartz dust. Should be pretty easy to make, I think. 30 Malachir assemblers. And I just need another four of the other ones. Or something like that. <laughs> I think. Just a bit more, I think. I think that should be fine. Two molecular assemblers. 30. Right, we're missing surface quartz dust and fluix dust, so it needs more fluix. So let's see, 30 of that, because I need to macerate out 30 of you. Pulverize 30 of you, not macerate. I'll be back once I've got all the materials. Okay, this is going to be quite a slow process to craft, because... I haven't got very many sort of like speed upgrades or anything like that in there. Uh, and obviously these are going to be quite slow making these processes. And they're not going to be terribly slow. But to make 30 of these, it'll take a while. Um, should be getting one pretty soon, I think. At least one of them will arrive in just a second, let's think. shouldn't take too long for one more to arrive, I'd say. Well, for at least one to arrive. Oh, okay, right, it's trying to work through all of these before it does that, I see. Uh, that makes sense, I suppose. Um, yeah, so these will be done soon. Um, I'm going to end the episode here, and we'll be back next time, once all my Malachite assemblers are done, and I'll also have set up the other four interfaces, uh, the other six interfaces, I have them all along here, and we'll have this entire thing set up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Maycroft Ultimates, and I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.